Over the next week, I'm going to be ranking my top 10 quarterbacks, running backs, and wide receivers heading into the 2020 college football season. I already ranked my top 10 quarterbacks, so if you haven't already, make sure to go check out that video. Later this week, I'm going to be releasing my top 10 wide receivers for the 2020 season. This is a video of who I think are going to be the top 10 running backs in 2020, but also a list of who I'm most excited to see in 2020 as well. Just like the quarterbacks, it was very tough to limit this list to only 10 running backs, so a lot of guys don't make the cut. Before I get to my list, make sure to subscribe if you love college football and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a future upload. Before I give my top 10, here are some honorable mentions. It seems like it's been a while since we really saw Trey Sermon. He appeared in 10 games last year, but only got 54 carries with Oklahoma. He transferred to Ohio State this offseason, where he hopes to return to his 2018 form. Just two seasons ago, Sermon rushed for nearly 1,000 yards and had 13 touchdowns. He joins one of the best offenses in the country, so I fully expect to see him bounce back. Sticking on Oklahoma running backs, here's a guy who has been an absolute workhorse over the last two seasons. Since the start of 2018, Kennedy Brooks has 274 carries for 2,000 yards and 18 touchdowns. His numbers did decline a bit last year, but with a brand new quarterback, it'll be interesting to see how that affects him. He can be either a lot better or a lot worse. This is one we're just going to have to wait and see how it plays out. Based on what we've seen from Georgia running backs over the last 10 years, Zamir White can easily be near the top of this list when it's all said and done. He sat behind DeAndre Swift last year, but still managed to get 78 carries that turned into 400 yards and 3 touchdowns. Taking over as the starting running back now, it'll be exciting to see how he compares to some of these former Bulldog studs. CJ Verdell has had quite the workload over the last two seasons for Oregon. He's had over 400 rushing attempts with 2,200 yards and 18 touchdowns. With Justin Herbert gone, Verdell may experience more volume than ever before. Kylan Hill enters his fourth year with the Bulldogs. He ran the ball 250 times last year, but that number may take a huge decline in 2020. He'll rush for 1,300 yards and 10 touchdowns for Mississippi State in 2019. Mike Leach comes in as head coach, so they may never actually run the ball ever again. According to 247 Sports, he needs only 45 yards for the school rushing record. He's currently tied for 6 all-time in 100-yard performances with 11 while at Mississippi State, and needs 11 more of those to pass Nick Fitzgerald's 21-game record. Anthony Dixon holds the record for running backs with 17. Hill had 8 such games last season, which tied Dixon and Fitzgerald for the most ever in one single season. One of the most explosive and exciting running backs in the country plays for the least explosive and least exciting Power 5 team in the country. Though Puka Williams still rushed for over a thousand yards last season, his numbers did decline across the board. He rushed for only three touchdowns on 200 carries, and his yards per carry declined by two. However, as I mentioned, he's still one of the most explosive running backs in the nation, so I wouldn't be shocked to see Puka rush for 1,500 yards and 10 plus touchdowns should he play a full season for Kansas. Though he was only a redshirt freshman last year, JV and Hawkins put Louisville on his back and helped them exceed expectations. He ran for over 1,500 yards on 260 carries, scoring 9 touchdowns as well. Another electrifying running back, Hawkins may be one of the fastest running backs in the country. Louisville can be a sleeper team in the ACC this year, and Hawkins will be a huge part of that. No other running back in the nation scores touchdowns quite like Jared Patterson. In 26 games with Buffalo, he scored 31 total touchdowns. He ran for 1,800 yards last season on 312 carries. The craziest part was that he split carries. Last year against Bowling Green, he ran for six touchdowns, a max single game record, and then rushed for four against Toledo. This is a guy who wants to break Buffalo records, so don't be shocked if he tops his previous records from this past year. Known as Christian McCaffrey 2.0, Max Borgie may be the most versatile playmaker in the Pac-12. Through his first two seasons for the Cougars, Borgie has 1,200 rushing yards and 19 touchdowns. He also has 140 catches for nearly 1,000 yards and 9 touchdowns. Per 247 Sports, he became the first player in Washington State history to begin his career with 10 or more touchdowns in each of his first two seasons. He ranked second in the Pac-12 as a sophomore with 16 total touchdowns scored, tied for third most in Washington State single season history. He led all Pac-12 running backs, averaging 6.5 yards per carry, and caught a nation-leading 85 passes for a running back. It was also the most by a running back in program history, and tied for the second most catches by any player in the Pac-12 last year. Per Washington State, Borgi led all ball carriers nationally with 26 missed tackles forced after the catch. Following in the footsteps of guys like Saquon Barkley and Miles Sanders can't be easy, but Journey Brown did a good job in 2019. He rushed for 900 yards on only 130 carries, averaging 7 yards per attempt. 
He scored 12 touchdowns as well, scoring once about every 10 carries. He finished his season on a high note, rushing for a Penn State Bowl record 202 yards against Memphis. Speaking of Memphis, Kenny Gainwell sure didn't look like a redshirt freshman out there last year for the Tigers. He had 1,500 yards rushing, 600 yards receiving, and according to Pro Football Focus, was responsible for 37 plays of 15 or more yards as an explosive threat. He returns to an already explosive Memphis offense and will look to help guide the Tigers back to another New Year's Six Bowl game. Najee Harris enters his senior season with the Crimson Tide. He had career highs all across the board last year. He rushed for 1,200 yards, had 13 rushing touchdowns, and he also caught 27 passes for 300 yards and 7 touchdowns. Per 247 Sports, Harris's 13 rushing touchdowns in 13 games was tied for the second most in the SEC, while he ranked 3rd in carries, 4th in rushing yards, and 6th in yards per game. He was tied for 9th in receiving touchdowns and led all SEC running backs in that category. Harris is only 1,200 yards away from former Heisman winning running back Derrick Henry as Alabama's all-time leading rusher with 3,400 yards for their career. Instead of entering the 2020 NFL Draft, Chuba Hubbard opted to return for his senior season. He's coming off an incredible campaign in which he rushed for nearly 2,100 yards leading all of college football. He also added 21 touchdowns on the ground. Hubbard joined Barry Sanders as the only running backs in Oklahoma State history to rush for over 2,000 yards in a season. Season, so, not bad company to be in. Hubbard had four games last season in which he rushed for at least 200 yards. Now, it's really difficult to repeat a 2,000 yard 20 touchdown season, but I'm pretty certain Hubbard probably has the best chance to do it more than any running back in the country. Another running back that had the chance to enter the 2020 NFL Draft decided to return for his senior season. With essentially nothing else to prove, Travis Etienne's return makes Clemson the favorites to win the title in 2021. The leading rusher in franchise history, Etienne has already surpassed 4,000 rushing yards thanks to back-to-back 1,600 yard seasons. He's ran the ball over 500 times in his career, averaging nearly 8 yards per carry. He has 62 total touchdowns in his career, with 49 of them coming over the last two seasons. If any running back has a chance to win the Heisman in 2020, it's definitely Travis Etienne. But yeah, that wraps up my list for the top 10 running backs for the 2020 college football season. Comment your list down below. It could be your top 10, it could be your top 5, it could be your top 3, but just let me know who you think the best running backs in college football are going to be this upcoming season. If there's any players I didn't include in my list of my honorable mention, let me know who they are, let me know why you think they have a chance to be one of the better running backs next season. As I mentioned, I'm posting these top 10 videos for the rest of the week, so if you haven't already, make sure you go check out my top 10 quarterbacks, and I'll be posting my top 10 wide receivers sometime in the next few days. If you're new, make sure to subscribe to my channel, because if you love college football, this is definitely the place for you. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.